you know, we've talked about berberine and we've used it a mm. lot and we've talked about mm -hmm. it a lot for poor blood sugar control and diabetes, those kind of things. And I, and I just decided to look at like, okay, what's been published just in the last month or two? I mean, just current stuff, you know? And they talked about berberine and taurine. Now, taurine is an amino acid, it's sulfur-containing amino acid. And the two together did all kinds of really neat stuff to keep mm -hmm. us from aging. Right, anti-aging, okay, what is okay. anti-aging? Anti-aging is where it slows down the aging process. A lot of people think of outside, but it's actually inside. And there's so many things they can measure yeah. anti-aging on the inside. Mm -hmm. And a lot of it is about the cells and mm -hmm. the mitochondria. This study talked about how yeah. it was beneficial in the mitochondria yeah. and in the areas of anti-aging. And it, it's kind of an eye-opener <clears throat> about taurine, this amino acid. It's kind of hard to get in the diet, the American diet, let's put it that way. Because it's foods that people tend to not eat that much. All right, for instance, beef. You want grass-fed beef. Okay, what foods have this nutrient? When it's a lot of time when it's the animal products, if the animal is not fed the way the animal is supposed to be fed, it won't be there. Right. That's why they know there is so much deficiency in different things because the animals are not fed the way they're supposed to eat.